People like Greg Braden and, um, and others have started to um, um, focus on this particular um, image. Back in um, 1899, something was uh, identified called Schumann Cavity Resonance. What it was was the heartbeat, the frequency beat of the Earth. From the time of its discovery, 1899, to 1986, this heartbeat frequency was a constant seven cycles, 7.8 hertz a second. Constant. Boom, 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 boom. From 1986 onwards, it started to rise dramatically. Just when people started to wake up in increasing numbers. It's gone through nine. Apparently, the last I heard, it was gone through ten cycles. And the projection is that by 2012, which is the point the Maya say in their calendar, and so many other calendars uh, point to the same period, that the jump will be made from this cycle of human evolution into the next one as the 26,000-year cycle comes to an end and we enter the start of the next one. At the same time that this resonant frequency of the Earth, boom, 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 is getting quicker, and therefore affecting us, coming in through the heart for those that are open and resonate in our bodies increasingly and changing our, our, our minds and our um, perception of life, the magnetics of the planet are also dropping, like they are on the sun, very dramatically. Um, 2,000 years ago was the peak of this cycle when the Earth's magnetic field was at, was at its most powerful. It's been falling ever since, and it falls exponentially. The quicker it falls, the more it falls, the more it falls, the quicker it falls. And the projection is that um, what uh, Braden calls uh, zero point 2012 is that the magnetics will reach virtually zero, if not zero, on the planet, and 13 cycles a second will be reached by the Schumann cavity resonance, the heartbeat. Now, one thing's for sure, at that time, the price is right, ain't going to be on the telly. Because this world is going to be very, very different by then. Um, and this is what we're heading for now. Now, the reason this brotherhood have focused on the millennium rather than this real point of change, because we have the millennium because of the Gregorian calendar, which came out of the Vatican, they are trying to do a, uh, a, a, a situation through the um, microchipping whereby we are held back artificially from making this leap of consciousness into a totally different state of being. Why is the magnetics of the planet falling? Very simple. When you put an electrical charge through an iron bar, it um, creates a north and south pole. When you put the charge the other way, the poles magnetically flip. If you look at the geological and um, other evidence, um, this has happened again and again on this planet many, many times. There has been a magnetic pole shift when the whole magnetic field of the Earth has flipped, which has, of course, serious consequences and brings about tremendous change. Now, what is it that creates the Earth's magnetic field? It is the Earth spinning. Therefore, it throws out this electrical charge that creates the Earth's magnetic field. One other thing that's being identified as this change unfolds is that the Earth is spinning slower and slower. As it does so, the power of the magnetic field that it creates is getting less and less powerful. And again, the projection is around 2012 that the Earth could stop spinning altogether for about three days and then start to spin the other way. And what will happen at that point? The poles will flip magnetically. And the poles will change, and that, the geological and other records show, has happened again many times. Indeed, you look at some of the ancient uh, texts and descriptions, they talk about uh, phenomena that fit very well into this happening before. Um, they talk about the longest day, the longest night, and, and what have you.